I'm Adam Harry with JR. We're both from Bell Lost Souls, and today we're taking a look at the brand new Daughters of Cain, Canari. Canari? 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 Canari. We're not 100% sure how to say it. We I apologize. think it's Canari. I, I'm pretty sure it's Canari, but Canari sounds like fun. Anyway, yeah. uh, these are one of the two new troop kits for the Daughters of Cain, uh, yep. and like their snake like sisters, they've both been warped and, and twisted by the shadowy essence of Marathi's soul. Uh, and so these guys manifest it with some demonic tails and bat wings and just oh, yeah. look cool. Yeah, very cool. If you're a fan of the old school dark elf model range, you might remember harpies being a thing. These are kind of like the harpy replacements. They've kind of been updated for uh, Age of Sigmar and are just really cool looking and we're excited about them because you can actually build two separate types. Absolutely. The uh, Life Takers and the Heart mm -hmm. One's got like these these cool looking sickles and the others have these barbed javelins that they can throw, use ranged yeah. or, yeah. Make with a stabbing. Let's take a look inside the cool. new Canary kit. JR, we have the Canary. Yes. These uh, Harpy-esque replacements, very cool looking. Here's the back of the box. This is what we were talking about earlier. They look so cool. They really do. I love those wings. I I want to see like how this piece like here works. So let's uh yeah let's open them up. You want uh, you want to do the honors? You want me sure. to do it? Okay. No, I know. Well, no, this one isn't a box full of snakes. So go yeah. for it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's true. I'm not a fan of uh, boxes full of snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Why? Why did it have to be snakes? All right. Pull those. Oh, oh, bases. Hello. All right. Bases. All right that's yes. everything in the box. Five so, bases. Five bases. These are uh, Terminator size, uh, roughly. So. I right, got two sprues. We'll come back to those real quick. Actually, instruction manual. We'll come back to this. Let's take a look Let's at these sprues. Let's stay with the sprues. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. That's cool. So one of the things that I'm seeing like right away. Uh, and just for the record, these are two different sprues. So just want right, to call right? it out. Yeah. What are you seeing, JR? So one of the things that I noticed right away is the like the lightning bolts or whatever the the veins the veins on the wings. Yeah. I thought. I, I'm gonna, I just want to like. Like I thought that was painted on. Uh, yeah. But oh, it, it's yeah. yeah not. I, thought it was, I thought it was freehand too. Yeah. It's it's so it's, it's actually there. It's in the model. The, That's that is, really cool. That is super cool. I was not expecting that. Like, just like Jay was saying, I thought that was freehand, but it's yeah. it's, it's there on the model. Which and, is super cool. and they they've really kind of like gone the extra mile putting putting in all the detail. I mean, I guess they're they're the daughters of Cain, so they're supposed to be extra murdery, but like. Yeah, um, I like how fluid they look. When yeah, they, move, very. They look like they could hop around and they look throw javelins and cut you up with sides. Yeah, I mean, that's su sickles. super graceful, but but also like there's chains that have like blades on them. Yeah, uh, there's there's the like main body of one of them, and I'm gonna flip it back over real quick. But like you can see all of the like extra oh, weapons yeah. and stuff that are on them. That's really cool. Yeah, their their armor. I don't know. It, it looks like it really fits with the way their their models are, are posed. Aggressive, yeah, but graceful. Yeah, it's cool stuff. Let's yeah. uh, let's look at that other sprue. Yeah, Whoop. I want to take a look. I want to see if we can find their helmets because uh, they have crazy horned helms. Oh yeah, here's here's one side of the sprue again. Same with the detail on the wings, which is awesome. Um, I love that this the base. They're yeah. connected with the tails like that. That's super cool. I, I think so as well. And then here's what I was talking about with the with the crazy horned masks. Yeah. Those are super cool looking. And over here too. So you get different head options. Um, there's uh, the masked versions and then I think there's like hair. A couple of too. hair versions. Yeah. yeah, like but but you don't necessarily notice that from, from a while. Those horn helmets are kind of a real yeah. low key kind of thing. For sure. It's a really cool looking kit so far. Uh, let's flip through the rules real fast. Yeah. Just how to put these bad boys together, or bad girls, I guess. Anyway, you can build two separate kits. Again, five models uh, in the box. Ideally, you're gonna make a box of five of one of these types. Heart renders are the ones with the, the javelins. Mm -hmm. And the, and the life, life takers have the sickles. Yeah. The, by the way, this little symbol means that it's optional, like one or the other, so. Right. Anyway, let's go ahead and flip this open. Uh, we don't need to flip through the whole thing. I just want to show off. It is full color. Um, you've got the color coded things to teach you how to, you know, assemble these models correctly. And they do life takers and heart render side by side. They're not so. super complicated. No, but, but it is nice to see what the final product is supposed to look like in this type of format. Cause, Absolutely. Because because there there is that sort of uh, uh, model in motion kind of thing that yeah. you're putting together, and so it can be like a little bit tricky. Then you know. Yeah. And I do like how they have both of them next, to, you know, side by side, so you yeah. can kind of see what's what's supposed to go where. Um, yeah, these models are really cool looking, and just from what I can tell, it's going to hide a lot of the seams. 
uh, yeah. how they how they have, when they have the assembly instructions. So absolutely. Um, also, we do have rules in here as well. These will be available online from GW yeah. when they go live. Yeah, which you can kind of see. Here's the heart renders. Uh, these are the ones with the javelins. Um, they do have a, a deep strike like ability called descend to battle, mm -hmm. uh, which lets them land up to nine inches away from an enemy unit, which is super cool. They've got ranged uh, and melee weapons yep. uh, with their javelins and are just, I don't know, they're really cool. Yeah, very cool. And then those are the heart renders, and then we also have, of course, the life takers, the life -takers which is the other option you can build from. They still have descend to battle, mm -hmm. uh, but they have a cool ability too. Uh, that is uh, fight and flight. Uh, so, um, in combat, after after the unit's finished making all the attacks on a on a four up, you can move another six inches. Move. Oh wow! Which is cool. And I think That's so so that could like take you out of. They both have that ability. Actually, there was there, they have a special one. I think. Yeah. Um, so so uh, the heart renders have one that's only for the shooting phase. Yeah, uh, death from above. Mm -hmm. Their barb javelins are minus two. Right. On the, unit, the, the turn they show up. So when they drop in nine inches away, by the way, their weapon has a 12 inch range. So you can drop in in range, get a minus two to your rend, um, and then or bring your rend up to a minus two, I should say. Then uh, you can also, after your shooting phase on a four up, you yep. can you can move six, uh, and then possibly even charge afterwards. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, it, yeah. Yeah. Right. The right with the right stuff. Uh, well, it's after the after the shooting phase ends. Yeah, you can get away. Yeah. Yeah. Move normal is your moving phase. You cannot retreat or run as part of the move. Though. Right. But it's super cool. They're very mobile. Uh, very cool. Cool looking unit. I'm excited about them. I love them. Let's yeah. let's uh, hop out for a quick outro. Well, that was the new Kaderai kits. I, I like them. I, I think they're a really good indicator of how the, the Daughters of Cain are shaping up. You could say they're a real Kaderai in the cold mine. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> sweetie. Yeah. I anyway, should, <laughs> I should feel ashamed of myself, but because, I don't because they have no cool shame kit. either. They are a really cool kid. Yeah. I gotta say, I really like the wings and the wing dynamic. Now this cut, I'm gonna be a little biased because they remind me of my Tyranid wings, mm -hmm. but uh, from my Tyranid armies. But I, I just like the way these wings turned out on these models. Yeah, no, they they, they look amazing. Yeah. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing like how these uh, oh, yeah. play. Like I, I think the javelin are kind of my favorite at first yeah. glance, but. Yeah, we'll find out. We'll find out. I, I also really like the bases on these. I like how they um, have the long kind of demonic uh, mm -hmm. tail that are connected to like the stubble and like the rubble on the base. I think that's a really cool touch. Yeah. So, really cool looking kit. Uh, they're coming out soon, so keep an eye out for those in stores. Ooh. I'm Adam Harry. I'm JR. We're both from Bell Lost Souls. Thanks for watching. Click to subscribe. Support us on Patreon. Check out more videos. And thanks for watching.